As technology's growth is increasing faster than ever, enabling new industries to form with a goal of helping humanity evolve, offering it new opportunities to invest in or new careers to begin with. So let's begin this video and talk about 6 growing industries of the future. Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence are systems that mimic human intelligence to perform specific tasks and learn based on the data they collect. AI is with us every day. When you unlock your phone using Face ID, it is using artificial intelligence to enable its functionality. Also, Apple's voice assistant, Siri, is powered by AI. Text-to-speech software is powered by AI. And these are examples of weak artificial intelligence, also known as narrow AI which can be explained that these AI systems tend to model human intelligence and work to accomplish specific tasks. In a nutshell, each of these weak AIs were trained to perform specific tasks. They were programmed to do it, and they can deviate off the programmed path. Like machines who are trained to pick up items in a warehouse were trained to do so, or a robot that was programmed specifically to vacuum the house can go and do the dishes unless a human changes the programming. Other AI like self-driving cars or AI that is capable of reasoning, also adapting and learning from mistakes and achieve a level of consciousness are categorized as strong AI or general AI. They are known of achieving full human cognition and decision-making skills. This AI will learn from experiences, from data it receives and processes. Strong AI could have a mind of its own, just like humans. It might feel, think and act like humans. Both of these AIs are so important and we are moving to an era where everything will be powered by AI. From AI that is able to answer your queries or follow a specific pattern or program, to AI that is able to learn and have a full potential of the human brain and making high quality decisions. The word metaverse comes from meta and universe, originated in 1992. According to Mark Zuckerberg, the metaverse is intended to be the next evolution of social connections and the future of computing and technology. Also, virtual spaces and places where you can work, play, and socialize in a virtual platform. This metaverse, according to experts, will be adding $5 trillion to the global economy by 2030. Of course, augmented and virtual reality are involved. With these technologies that will allow us to interact in virtual places with each other will sure be a great help to make the metaverse come true. If you want to do a meeting, there is no need to be physically present. Just log into the digital world and meet your co-workers there. Now what represents you in this world is your 3D looking avatar that might be similar to you in the real world. Remember that the metaverse is mimicking our daily lives. For example, what we do, where we go, how we look and how we socialize. And soon enough, motion capture will enable your avatar to act like you and copy your real world gestures. Imagine wearing VR goggles or headsets. They will launch you in a world of virtual reality where you move along with your avatar and interact with other avatars in a world where you can do all the activities done in the real world. Tech companies like Microsoft began to produce metaverse related products like VR headsets, for example the HoloLens, which is an augmented reality headset. Also Meta, who is known in investing heavily in the metaverse, and founder of Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, is known of spending $15 billion in this project, with a goal of building a virtual reality that can potentially change society and its way of interacting with one another. Every object connected to the internet and can be recognized by other devices connected themselves to the internet is an example of the Internet of Things or IoT. In the past, the internet wasn't something popular, but today we can't live without it because all of our devices like mobile phones, video game consoles and everything we use in our daily lives are connected to the internet. Also, new devices are being connected to the internet like refrigerators, smartwatches, cars and home security systems. So more and more devices are connected to the internet, more and more data is being stored and more data to manage. Because of this, knowledge and data management and software is crucial. But not only this, cybersecurity is sure in high demand. You see, more and more data is being stored in the internet, and these data represents our personal information, from our photos and videos to our bank accounts, which probably need to be protected. These data are collected from IoT devices, which probably increases the chances of cyber attacks where attackers are already able to steal bank accounts hack into companies and steal classified information that encourages and increases the demand in cybersecurity because without proper cybersecurity systems, our data can't be secured. Web3 is the next step of the evolution of the internet. 
Currently, we are living in Web2, which is centralized. That means you are in a client-server network, where multiple devices are connected to a single server, let us say Google server. In Web2, you can create and view content, basically read and write. Also, Web2 fixed a lot of problems that were faced in Web1. One of them is user interaction. But Web2 also has some problems, like servers going down. For example, Amazon, who had its servers going down once for 30 minutes, and that made it lose, according to Forbes, $66,000 per minute. Also, when you're exposed to the internet, your data is in trouble and it can be stolen by attackers. For example, the Yahoo data breach in 2013, which caused 3 million users to have their accounts hacked. Also, the major problem is that you're not the owner of your data. Basically, you have little or no control over it. Tech companies use your data to showcase ads based on your interest, and your data that's being stored inside cookies are being sold and you basically don't know to who, maybe to publishers to analyze market trends, or to tech companies or third parties, and you don't know what's going on with your data or where it is going. So as a user, I want to have full control over my data. Though can Web3 fix these problems? Web3 focuses on peer-to-peer -peer network. That means we will still have services like Facebook, YouTube, and WhatsApp to chat with friends and upload content, but we won't have the client-server architecture, where there's multiple clients connected to a server. Instead, we will have a decentralized network powered by blockchain. With blockchain, data will no more be stored inside a fixed location, which is Google servers. Instead, it will be stored in numerous blocks, making it extremely secure and nearly impossible to breach. That makes Web3 trustful and permissionless. That means people are able to interact directly without a trusted intermediary. For example, if you want to buy a product, you can do it directly without any permission from an authority. And remember, data is stored in a blockchain. Basically, the transaction is recorded. Actually, everything is recorded, like how much you had before and after the transaction, as well as what you earned from the transaction. Also, by the help of IoT technology, which we spoke about it earlier, lots of devices will be able to connect to the internet, which makes Web3 accessible to anyone everywhere at any time. Now Web3 offers to users the ability to be owner of their data. But Web3 needs some time to develop. You won't wake up tomorrow and start using it. But tech giants like Amazon, Apple and Microsoft are trying to change their course and start using Web3. We can't forget about robots, right? Actually, lots of companies are developing robots, like Sophia, which is a social humanoid robot developed by Henson Robotics based in China. This robot was given Saudi Arabian citizenship in 2017. Sophia captures data through the camera and its eyes, so it's able to analyze its surroundings. Also, it is capable of speaking human language. It is able to walk and express more than 60 different expressions. Robots are able to assist humans in different fields, especially in lifting heavy loads or healthcare assistance, education, and more. So with the help of artificial intelligence, robots can become smarter and will be able to understand their surroundings and serve humans. Although robots are evolving, some people think that robots will be able to replace us and take over our jobs. We are seeing today robots replacing humans in fields like manufacturing and construction, especially in building vehicles and heavy machinery. Also, robots are able to take over routine tasks, like customer services, and soon enough may be able to perform surgeries and operations on patients. As AI is evolving and robots are becoming more conscious and capable of analyzing their surroundings and act upon it, as well as earn the full potential of thinking like a human. I thought quantum computing is not an easy topic to understand, but it is sure a key to revolutionize our future. Quantum computers are devices that perform quantum computation at a subatomic level. Also, keep in mind that quantum computers don't use bits, they use qubits or quantum bits, which takes the advantage of using concepts such as superposition and entanglement. If you really want to go in depth on these topics, check out my full video on quantum computing, link in description. But here's an idea about them. First, a qubit can be 0 and 1 at the same time. 0 and 1 are the state of a qubit, so 1 qubit can be in 2 states at the same time. What if you are working on 2 qubits? That means it can be in 4 states at the same time. Compared to classical computers that read 0 or 1, a quantum computer using the concept of superposition, which means a qubit can be in different states simultaneously. It can perform complex calculation faster than ever and manipulate data. And when superposition works with entanglement, which means particles share the same state no matter how far they are, which increases the connectivity between those particles, allows quantum computers to solve computational problems that will take far too long for classical computers. Not only that, quantum computers can solve extremely complex calculations needed to model biological organisms, such as protein behavior. Also, quantum computing is able to create super powerful encryption, enabling data to be secured. Currently, companies like Google, IBM and Microsoft own a quantum computer, but it fills the whole room, 
and it needs to be kept inside a low temperature room. And for your information, IBM owns the most powerful quantum computer that runs 433 qubits simultaneously. Also, according to my research, IBM intends to scale up its quantum computer to over 4,000 qubits by 2025 and beyond. Now, I want to know, which industry do you think can impact our future other than the industries mentioned in this video? Make sure to let me know down in the comments and how about subscribing to my channel and stay up to date with technology and consider watching one of these videos that are appearing right now on your screen.